Well, here we are. It's the first two matches of our new save here at Nack Breda. Let's go ahead and get into it, my dudes. Before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave the thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Well, here we are. We're back at Nack Breda. We're about to play our first two matches of the season. In case you missed it in the last episode, uh, we did do some transfers before getting out of there. Uh, and it's a couple of loanies. I want to mention this again. Uh, I think we might bring two to three loanee players in per season. That'll be kind of the limit that we do. And they have to be under the age of 21 uh, or 21 or younger is what I'm trying to say. 21 or younger is what we're getting at here. Uh, we brought in Lucho from Red Bull, Red Bull Salzburg on loan. He's a three-star player, five-star center back. I am, I'm really excited about him. I think he's going to be a good player for us. Uh, and we brought in Timo Bornman from Dortmund, a uh, striking option for his three-star, five-star potential. Looks to be a really solid player. And then I brought in a youngster on a youth contract. It's a two-star player, four-and-a-half-star potential, who's actually now – our hot prospect so there we go look at that hey bring in one kid and he's already the hot prospect of the club we must be doing something right right off the bat the next episode we're doing a stadium tour we're going to take a look on google maps see what we have and guys i am really excited about the save uh it's it's been a minute since i've done a homegrown kind of save like we're doing like we've done with kv mecklin uh the dynamics of our club is starting to look a little bit better our leadership support's good uh club atmosphere is good in cohesion still very poor we haven't played any matches and uh, that's that's about to change. We do have some injuries to note, though. Uh, our backup goalkeeper, he's out for this match. And Dion Malone is out for this match as well. Both of them should be back for the next match. Uh, Kestens, our backup right-wing option that can play on the left-hand side as well, he is not fully fit for this match. So we may try to play him a little bit to get him fit. Uh, not 100% sure on that. I think I've picked our team. This is what we're going to roll with today. Uh, we're going to be playing our wing play system. I haven't done anything different to it. It's just the default wing play system. Uh, we have changed up a, a couple of roles, I guess. Roy here, he's he is now an inverted winger, an inverted winger, and in suit Jens as a target forward. Uh, I think I think that's going to be the best thing we can do. Uh, he, he's really good in the air. It should work out. He should be able to play that ball forward to Balotti. And I am really excited about this one. Uh, let's see if there's any. I want to distribute quickly. I do. I think that's another thing we're going to add. Uh, we got Olajic in goal, a back four of Rutten, Rosler, Baker, and Maria in the midfield. And Tony, and Tony, I'm going to call him Antonio, but um, Antonia, uh, Valinas, Hay, and Roy in the attack. We got Suntjens and Bilate. Guys, let's get this underway. The first match. I've done all this. I don't care. Let's get in here. I've, I, yeah, I know I don't have enough players. And we got to assign numbers. Timo, you get the number nine. Wow. Okay. Good job, bud. I, I'm I'm ready for this. We are projected to finish second in the league this season. Uh, I'm not actually sure where uh, Venlo's projected. We're gonna pump this. Get out there and impress me. And we're gonna have to change the highlights and all that stuff, ain't we? Yep. We're gonna have to change just like we always do. I think it's sideline. Ain't it sideline? Isn't that what I use? Something like this, maybe. Ain't that what it is? I feel like that's what I usually play on. And we're changing it to key highlights. And we want to bump up the speed one tick, I think. See how that goes. Oh, and replays. We want to be behind the goal. There we go. I think we have everything solved now. Let's get it underway. The black and the yellow versus the black and the yellow. It's going to be a little bit confusing today. I don't believe this is us. I think that, yeah, okay, this is uh, Venlo in possession here. This is an away match, so this is not our home stadium in the game. Next match, though, we are playing at our home stadium. We get to take a look at it. Let's go ahead and get this highlight ended. I'm believing that this is going to be an extended highlight, uh, highlight, so it might not even amount to anything. It might just end pretty soon. Hopefully that's what happens if we don't get the possession here, which it doesn't look like we're going to. I'm getting a little bit nervous. Who is going to score the first goal for Nack Breda in this save? I am. That's something that we're interested in. Hey, the first goal is in a, uh, not for us. Uh, Venlo scored right off the bat. Not even one minute in the match, and we allow a goal. Not, not the start we wanted to the save, is it? Definitely not. Hey, uh, I mean, you can see it coming. A bit close, isn't it? A little bit close. Are we going to have the top offsides replay on that one? Nope. Okay. 
Okay, we've got just a lot of goals. Let's drop some encouragement on the guys. Get everybody's morale back up. We've got to get something going. Obviously, it's just the first 10 minutes. I do apologize. It's obviously the first 10 minutes. I'm not nervous yet. We haven't done much of offensively yet, so we've got to get that going. Okay. <laughs> oh, we allow a corner. Not the start we wanted to the save, and I'm going to have to get a drink, guys. I, I'm choking up over here. I do apologize for that. Rosler does a good job of clearing that out for us. Removes the danger. Bellotti in possession. Now, what does he do with it? He plays it to Soup Jens, who I'm excited about. Holds up play. Back to Antoni. Antoni. I, I'm going to mess up his eye. Guys, I'm going to call him Antonio. That's, that's just the way it's going to be. It's Antonio. I'm not going to try to pronounce his name correctly. It's, it's not who I am. Roy wins the ball here. Good job. Running down that left-hand side, and that's where we end. We're going to go a little bit more positive, I think. We're not creating a lot of opportunities. See if we can get one here. Baker in possession. Rosler now. Okay, I'm fine building from the back. You guys know that. Sutgens. Okay, play it out wide. Okay, or play it back. Okay, we've got something here now. Now we have it, baby. Roy is the first goal of the season. He is our first goal scorer of the save. It's his first of the season. 1-1. One, one. It's getting a little bit nervous there. I mean, it's been a lot of Venlo, not a whole lot of us. <laughs> okay. I wish that ball had a little bit more velocity coming off of Bellotti, too, to get him up there. Had to slow up to get to it, but nevertheless got the finish for us. And ties it up one one good stuff. Hey guys, we need we need some happiness out here. Let's let's go. It's, it's fine. We're gonna go down in matches. And you gotta have the mental fortitude, not give up. Okay, there we go. First thirty five down in the books. Do we drop a little bit more encouragement on the side? Do we? we? Hey hey, there we go. It works out pretty nicely for us. Back, Baker does a good job there. Uh, that was a dangerous 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 attack coming. From Venlo there for Baker to get that stop. That's wonderful. We've played it out to the left-hand side. Roy gets past the player here. Kicks it back to Volanis. Uh, Volanis is a player I want to discuss after this match, by the way. Soomjins to Hay. Okay. Hey, hey. Two, one, baby. Antonio on the goal. He is injured, though. So that is, that's a little bit concerning. Right off the bat, we may look, take a look at him at halftime. And uh, probably going to come off the pitch. Two minutes of added time. And there we go, guys. Halftime, 2-1. And we're going to pump the fist. Things are going well, but we know we're capable of better. Uh, so he's, he is a little bit hampered by it. And I don't have a right-wing option to play, do I? I mean, we could do that. Do we have a left? Okay, having to do some swapping up here right off the bat. Wasn't what I was expecting. Marshot coming into the match. Uh, Maria is going to change to a winger. He's a guy that can play... Pretty much anywhere on that left-hand side. So he's going to move up. Marshall's coming in. Uh, I think we will go ahead and drop him back to support as well. I thought we had another left winger at the club. Do we not? Yeah, we do. I mean, he's not great at it. But, yeah. I mean, what in the hell's blazes? What's that? What foot are you? What, what foot? What's, what's your strong suit? What's that guy's name? Kestens. Uh, he wants to play on the right-hand side, but he is left-footed. So, awesome. You're coming in. Getting getting some game time, bud. Let's get out here for this second half. Good stuff. I want to take a look at that because I thought we had a little bit more left-wing options than that. Uh, that might be a position that we need to add head to at some point. Okay, Bilotti. Hey, hey, we're looking a lot better since some two goals, haven't we? Wait, we're looking a lot better now. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with what we're doing. This is good. Long ball, playing a little bit of the hoof ball, then low, and they tie it up. That's poor. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. I'm, I, I'm not upset. I'm not happy. But I'm not upset. Definitely not happy though. I mean, we got to do better than that. We really do. I mean, Hay has to do more. Get in the way of that shot, I feel like, really. Because that really put Oli G on a, on a bad course there. I don't know what to do here at this point. We got Soon Jens, who's not having the best of matches. Uh, the, other team, the other guys I'm not really disappointed with. I feel like we've played pretty good. I am a little bit disappointed in Soon Jens. I thought he might have been able to do something for us. And guys, I didn't set my, my corners. I'm going to try to remember it in between matches. I'm going to try. I'm not promising anything. If you guys know me. It'll be halfway through the season before I load them up. Uh, Baker to Rosler here. 
Do we get a third here? It would be nice. I think our defense has been pretty poor today. Basically, I don't think the goalkeepers looked really good at times today. Bilotti, right off the damn post. Okay, we got a corner. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw these in. And that way, we're at least somewhat in a decent shape. It's not what I, I meant to click save. Uh, there we go. And then go to the left-hand side, do the same thing. And then I just kind of want to take a look and see who we got at different positions in this. on this. Uh, okay, so... That's fine. I mean, that's I would prefer that maybe. Uh, are you really taking these? I mean, that's okay, I guess. It's not perfect, but for right now, without me messing with set pieces, I think I'm okay with that. And I think that's what we're going to roll with. Let's get out here, get something from this corner, hopefully. Soonjins is good in there. We've got a lot of good people, like... <laughs> Our center backs ain't great in the air, but we do have some some attacking ability that's good in there. Soonjins gets on that, goes out for a goal kick. A little bit disappointed in that, but it's okay. It's okay. We're going to drop some more encouragement on the guys after giving up a goal that's now 2-2. Two, two. And it's time, I think, we make a change. Uh, Soonjins is coming off. Start with, we've got Kosaya, who's who's decent in the air. So he's going to come on. I wasn't happy with Soonjins in this match. I was really looking forward to him playing. Let's get something out of this, though. Got to watch the hoofball. It beat us on the last time. They've been pretty good at it, really. We haven't been good at We're still not good at defending it. Baker just absolutely misses that. Yep, that's, that's, that's terrible by Baker. If you go up for it, bud, you've got to get that. Wow. That, that frustrates me a little bit because, I mean... I mean, I got a low line, so. <laughs> That's the way the save starts out, huh? A three gold just beating. Our defense did not look good today, I don't feel like. Kosaya to Kirsten's to Bilotti. He hits a dink, ties it back up. First of the season for him. We have an absolute thriller here today, my dudes. It's 3-3. Back and forth. We can't pull away. They can't pull away. This point, we'll take the damn point, okay? Goodness gracious game. I'm happy with that play though. Bilotti's looked pretty good in this match, hasn't he? Good stuff by the squad. Guys, we need to get we need to get a little bit of motivation out here. We got one more change we can make. Uh Valanis has not had the best of matches. We do have a good substitute for that. As Agari's coming in, can he do anything for us? It would be pretty damn nice. All right, let's get this one over with. Uh we got a few minutes left. We've been the better side today. We've got to feel a little bit hard done by uh, the score cheat not giving it to us. Uh, Kirsten's, I call him Kirsten's. It's Keston's. I don't know why I keep calling him Kirsten's. Keston's here has the ball. We're in our added time. Roy gets on it. He's got the brace, baby. Keston's on the assist. 3 4. Okay. An absolute thriller for our first match here at NAC. I've been impressed with this kid right here. He's played really good, hasn't he? I mean, comes in as a substitute, not really trained as a left wing in the midfield, but does a good job for us. I mean, got two assists. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I'm good, my dudes. Let's just get out of this match. Roy was our best performer with the 9.2. Uh, we deserve to win this match. Uh, it, we got to be better in goal, and Baker's got to be better. I don't think Baker's going to play in the next match because I just wasn't impressed with him. Him missing that head, uh, that really uh, almost costed us the match. Almost costed us the full three points. So that is not good. Okay, he is out for 9 to 12 days. I'm fine with that. And Roy, my dude, let's go. Really pleased with how you played and all that fun stuff. So uh, one thing I want to take a look at is players that are not Dutch but may have a second nationality. So um, I'm 95% Rosler is not one of those guys. Uh, I mean, like I'm almost 100% sure. I think I've looked at that. Yeah, I've looked at it. He's not. So he will not be with the staying with the club after his contract expires, I believe, at the end of this season. So that's that's a bit disappointing because he's he's got bags of potential. Could be a really good player for us. Dion Malone, I believe we took a look at him already. Are you? He is trained in the Netherlands, so he can stay with the club. We can re-sign him. Bilotti, 
I'm not really interested in re-signing you because you're 30. I don't like the old guys. He is trained in the Netherlands. Good stuff there. Uh, I know Velalanis is. I'm going to show it, though, just to show it. There it is. He's trained in the, in the Netherlands as well. Uh, Kestens, I'm not 100% sure on. I mean, he could be trained in Nation. So I think we re-sign him for one year to see what happens on that. Uh, I don't really... I'm not really interested in keeping this guy. So after his contract expires, he's not going to be here. So it doesn't really matter. I know. I think we took a look at Antonio in the last episode. He is trained here. Awesome. Rutin, we know, I mean, obviously. Uh, Maria, Maria, what about you? Nice. So a lot of these guys are already trained in the nation. So that is, that's huge. And Kosaya obviously should be trained in the nation. Yes. It makes life a little bit easier. We didn't look at Mayshark, did we? I mean, that's that's awesome. I mean, most of the first team guys are trained here. Uh, the only one that's really not is Rosler. So there we go on that. And up next, my dudes, we have... What's the team's name? We have Telstar. Should be fun. It's our first home matchup. We get to take a look at our stadium in-game, and then we can compare it, compare it to the stadium in real life in the next episode. A little bit of disappointing news. Uh, you remember how in the last episode we asked for, I'm trying to see it here. So we asked for youth recruitment, youth facilities, and junior coaching. Uh, tried to discuss it with them. They said basically we should work with what we have for now, uh, that we haven't been here very long. So that is a bit disappointing. Now we're going up against Telstar. Where is Telstar projected to finish in the league? Uh, they're currently 17th, so not the best of starts for them. Must have got off to a loss. And uh, they are projected to finish in 12th place. We should be winning this match. The only thing we really got to worry about is Venlo, who we just beat. So Telstar is projected to finish 12th in the league. Uh, Venlo is projected to finish top of the table. So very nice win for us there. It's time to get into the second match up against Telstar. Uh, we got Ology in goal, a back four of Root and Rosler in Lucho and Maria. As I mentioned, uh, Lucho's coming in in place of... Uh, Baker wasn't impressed with Baker at all in the last match. That last match, Roy on the right, Hay and Velenos, they got swapped up. I would I would like it like that. Thank you. And Keston's on the left. Uh, Sunjins and Baladi up top. Let's get out here and get our second win of the season. Six points in the first episode. Didn't think that would happen. I really didn't. We're, we're I mean, the Venlo match was a absolute barn burner. That was a that was good to the very end. The fans expect to win. Don't let them down. Everybody was motivated by my team speech. As you can see, everybody just continued sitting down. Guys, we have a nice stadium. Double decker. Look at that. Now, the sides are not filled in, but very impressed with the stadium. Can we actually uh, pause this? I know that there is a camera angle like that's really high up, isn't there? Not that one. Obviously not that one. Is it you? Nope. I am just totally messing up the uh, the thing now. There we go. That's the one I wanted to see. That's a nice stadium. Like I am, I'm I'm impressed with what we've got here. I mean, there's a lot of fans. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead and get this swap back over to uh, not that one. This one uh, sideline, right? And then the camera zoom is usually like here. There we go. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get this match underway. We have ball. We have possession first. We have ball. <laughs> okay, Bilotti get, chases this down. He's got Soonjins in the box. Plays it over to Roy, who had a smashing game in the last one. Does he have another good one here? He plays this to Hay. Gets it to Bilotti. Bilotti has it at his feet. Kestens gets his first of the season. Bilotti on the assist. The goal keep didn't know what happened. He just laid on the ground, curled up, not knowing that we was about to score. And Kestens... He's a two-star player, but in his first two matches, he has a goal and two assists. Kid has played lights out right off the get-go, and I'm here for it. Good job by him. He's earning himself some playing time. There we go. I mean, that's that's a thrilling way to start right there. I love it. You love to see stuff like that right off the bat. Hey, now in possession. Do we get a th second here? Soonjins, he tries for it. Didn't really have an opportunity in the first match. Gets a good opportunity there that he sells over the top. Look at that. We're sitting second in the league right now after two matches being played. Soonjins again. 
Hey guys, I did I didn't change my set pieces. But he gets his first goal of the season. It worked out. I'm glad I didn't change him really right then. Two nil. Let's get it. Let's get it, my dudes. This is what I'm talking about. Great start for us. This is the start that you wanted. Good stuff by Suntgens, rising to the occasion. All right, the first 20 minutes are down. We haven't created a lot of shots, but we're being pretty damn efficient, ain't we? Scoring on half of our shots right now. I will take that every day of the week. A player that I do want to get involved in this match is Borman. I want to get him in, play, take probably uh, take out Bellotti for him at some point during this match. Just not right yet. We've got we've got to fulfill the the squad level player that he is, and and he's a good player. He should be vying for for being in the starting job as our second striker along Suntgen's. But uh, I, I always obviously try to opt for my players, but uh, he's he's definitely going to get to play some today, I believe. Hay gets the possession here for us. Maria now has it running down the left-hand side. What does he decide to do with the ball today? He kicks it back to Kestens. Kestens. He's been my favorite player already of the save. I don't know. I say that. Roy, Roy's been pretty damn good, hasn't he? I, I know I'm mispronouncing his name, but that's what, that's what we're calling him. Rooten. Okay. Okay. Suntgen's gets a second of the day. He's got a brace. Now, it, it, it was a close one, but he got it in. Roy was in on the assist. Three nil. A A. Guys, this is what I'm talking about. First two matches looking damn good. I really didn't know what to expect with this team. I, I didn't. If you would have told me that we would have lost both of the matches, I wouldn't have been surprised. If you told me we won both of them, still wouldn't have been surprised. But here we are dominating our second match. We're going to drop a little bit of praise on the guys. Try to keep them... I mean, Velanas is not – he's getting a little bit complacent on us, isn't he? You guys know that I will take a player out. If his if his morale is affecting the squad, he's going to be sitting on the bench. So he's going to have to get that up a little bit, especially if, if the halftime team speech does not work for you. You'll be sitting on the in the second half, bud, and uh, might be sitting more than that. Got to get that up for us. Okay, good job there. Defense looks solid today, doesn't it? We look a lot better than we did in the last match. Oligy picks us up. He's running with it. What does he decide to do? Hey, it looks like he's going to send everybody forward. I'm glad he is. They're, they're, they're looking like they're pressing a little bit. Plays us in the Suntgens, who does a good job just to bring that down, hold up play, let support come. And, and, and Roy to Kestens. Hey, guys, I'm telling you, those two guys have linked up. Like We've got two young wing players that have been dominant in the, these first two, episodes, or first two matches. And Suntgens, being absolutely dominating today, got a hat trick in the first half. Two minutes of added time before we get into halftime. And as I've said it in past episodes, if you're here enjoying this, just kick back and relax, baby. Okay, that's enough relaxing. It's halftime. Uh, we've been really efficient on our shots, really. We've only got four, eight shots, four goals out of it. Uh, we've got, we're, we're looking good, though. I'm excited about what we're doing right now. Uh, looking at changes that we might make, uh, Velanas might be coming off. I would like to bring in uh, the Azagari guy. I think he's going to be a really good player for us. So I want to get him in. Roy, I'm telling you, these two wing plays, these two wingers that we've got have just been dominant. Like what, both of them under the age of 22? And just... <laughs> guys, guys, does it get much better than this? I like this guy. I'm, I'm really impressed with him. I think like the reason why I really like Kestens is because I haven't, I didn't expect that to happen with Kestens coming in and doing such a good job for us. Five nil. It's a bloodbath. But as I mentioned, I would like to bring in Azagari and uh, Bornman probably with our first two changes. Suntgen's is on a hat trick already. So he could be taken off. Bilotti could be taken off. Probably Bilotti, honestly. Uh, we get lucky there. Get lucky there that he absolutely butchered that shot because. That should have went in the back of the net, really. Okay, let's let's get we're, we're getting close to half time or not half time. We're getting close to our changes, and uh, yeah, I, I'm really thinking about those two guys. We'll probably drop Bournemouth down to a pressing forward. Uh, we promised Bournemouth, not Bournemouth. Uh, wow, Bournemouth and Bournemouth, uh, Dortmund that he would play as a pressing forward. So we're going to try to fulfill that obligation so we can keep him at the squad for this year because he's a pretty good player. Roy almost gets another. He almost he should have had an assist there. I mean that was lovely stuff by him. Unfortunately, Suntgen's did not get the finish there. But yeah, that should have been an that should have been an assist for him. I feel bad for the guy. <laughs> I mean, you know he's on, he's only had success here since joining the club. 
I don't know if it's this is his first year or not. It's it's, it's our first year. He's been have he's had nothing but success since we've joined the club. So lovely stuff by him. Happy about that. Uh, it's time we make some changes now. I feel I feel like uh, you're coming off. We mentioned uh, Azagari coming on, and you're coming off for Borman. And you are dropping back, sir, to a pressing forward. I'm fine with you staying on attack. Uh, and those are that. I don't, the third change, I really don't know. I feel like it would be a really good decision to get Dion Malone out there at some point during this match. Uh, we might take Sunjins off and drop back with a flat back five uh, just to get him a little bit more fit because I do see him being a regular starter for us alongside Lucho or Rosler. Uh, I'm not sure which one of those th those two. Obviously, that'll be our big three is Lucho, Rosler, and uh, Dion Malone. I believe Dion Malone will be a regular starter for us, though. I mean, heck, he's in the media Dream Eleven. He should be a starter for us, shouldn't he? This one's uh, this match has been a little bit of a of a long one, hasn't it? It's definitely been a long one. We've been recording for about ten minutes now, and usually, usually the second match does not last but around five uh, six minutes. This one definitely running the course, and these are the kind of highlights that I absolutely hate. Where it's just people sitting on the ball and you have to wait for a good couple of minutes for something to happen. We get, hey, they should have had two goals in this match, really. That one should have went in. Get a little bit of a lucky break there. And it's time we praise the squad after this highlight. Hey, sends us into the box. He's looking for Bornman. Can't quite find him. And now we've got a job to do. We've got to get back because it looks like on that default corner, there's only one person that stays back. I don't like that. I definitely need to change my corners in between matches instead of always forgetting. I was about to make a change. I don't know why I was going to do that. It's not time, baby. No, uh -uh. not yet. Okay, now, now I apologize. Cut that out. And now it's time for a change here. Uh, we're taking Sunjins out, dropping him back in the flat back five. Dion Malone coming in for the first time this season. Been dealing with an injury. He's healthy enough to get a couple minutes out. Hopefully get him fit, ready to go for these next couple matches that I'm going to be playing off screen. But guys, I, I've, I'm, like I said, I'm just happy with this performance. Keston's on the ball here. What do we do? Bornman gets his first of the season. First with Nack Breda. Keston's on the assist. 6-0. Guys, yes. I mean, at some point, you don't know what to say anymore. I'm just happy. That's all I can say. This has been a good episode, hasn't it? Keston's. Roy. I didn't expect this from these two kids today. I, I did not. I expected close matches, and obviously the first match was a close match, but uh didn't expect this in the second match. Did not. And we finally allow a goal. It's been coming for a minute. We haven't looked the best in the back of, of the past couple of minutes anyways. I think we've looked pretty solid for most of the match, but right then, not the best. Uh, Rutten's got to do a better job. He's not having a great match. He's only... Only putting out a 6.4. You got to be better than that, bud. Uh, it's time that we do a little bit of changes here. We're going to go positive or balanced, I'm sorry. And I just realized Borman was playing a little bit asymmetrical. You guys can drop back support. I'm okay with that. Uh, yep, 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 yep. And then I'm going to slow the tempo up. We're going to turn time wasting on as well and slow the pace down. That way we can get out of here at a reasonable time. Good stuff by the squad. I mean, I, I really would have liked to keep the clean sheet. I really would have enjoyed that. But unfortunately for us, we don't do that. But it's a 6 to 1 victory. Sunjin's best performer had the hat trick 9.2. Guys, you know what we're doing. We're outstretching those arms. It was a great win today. And I am thrilled with that performance. Got us sitting second. Only one point off of the goal differential of top of the table. They've been setting it on fire. Guys, that was a good one. That was a really good one. Borman scores on his debut. Soonjins gets a hat trick. I mean, this episode couldn't have been any better than what it is right now. Uh, so we'll play roughly around three matches, come back, and then, hey, this would be a fun one, wouldn't it? I mean, I think it would be a fun one. Who is our, uh, who's our local Darby's in? So William, okay, so we don't really have one at this level, unfortunately. I mean, it looks like we are, uh, we have a derby against Eindhoven. So could we say that FC Eindhoven is a rival and we come back here for these two matches? 
So that would leave me about four, that would leave me four matches off screen and come back with these two. I think that might be fun. You know, maybe a potential top of the table clash. Wow, what a great episode. I mean, I know I said it a hundred times in the episode, but that was fun. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.